Hey everyone, welcome to another fountain pen review. Benu Pen has sent me a few more fountain pens to check out. So today, let's look at this. So this is their packaging box, which is just a very minimalist designed cardboard box. All these are shredded paper, and this is the fountain pen. The name of this pen is called Bird of Paradise and this comes from the Essence Collection of Banu Pen. Banu currently has three collections or series. The first is called Minima, second is called Essence and third Supreme. This pen is made of some sort of resin. It's supposed to be very durable and scratch proof. It feels quite comfortable to hold in hand. It has a nice weight, not too heavy or light. The cap doesn't come with a clip, so this pen, it actually rolls around quite easily. So be careful when you put it on the table. There are some parallel indents here on the cap. And this is the brand here. Highlight of the pen is definitely the design. Now this pen is made of resin. It's supposed to be durable, scratch proof, and the design, it's really beautiful. It can be quite mesmerizing. I'm not sure how they actually create the design, but this looks really beautiful. The resin body is supposed to be durable and scratch proof. And this design, we have blue, gold, black, and some green. It actually glitters under light. This is the end of the pen. There are some parallel indents here as well. Let's open this. This pen comes with a twist type ink converter. Let me remove this. The ink capacity looks um, quite all right. And this is the grip and nib section. That's the design on the nib. It says here that it's a broad nib and the little tiny words here, Schmidt Iridium Point. Let me turn this around to show you the fit section. You can remove the nib and fit section very easily, just twist this very slightly and pull it out. So this is how the fit looks like. And to put it back, you just have to align the nib to the groove. Just align it properly and push this back in. It's really easy. All right, it's time to put some ink into the pen. The nib that I have here is a broad nib, so this is probably going to be very smooth, and indeed it is. The ink flow is quite good as well. The lines are very thick. Writes very smoothly, very nicely. All right, let me do a very quick sketch and see if the ink can keep up with the with what I draw. Let's turn the nib around and see if it can create thin lines. Yes, it can. So it can create very thin lines by flipping the nib over. I actually prefer medium nibs and broad nibs because I like the bow strokes and sometimes they are quite convenient, especially when coloring areas like this. So this is a very quick sketch drawn with the pen. The pen handles very well. The nib is very smooth on the paper. 
build quality of the pen is quite good so overall I think this is a very decent fountain pen as mentioned earlier the highlight of this pen is the design this is very different from other fountain pens because of the glitter the colors if you compare this to fountain pens like this with the classic black and gold combination this is definitely more eye-catching the retail price of this pen is 190 US dollar you can get it from Banu Pen's website if you are interested so that's all for my fountain pen review today if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and if you want to check out other fountain pens that I have reviewed just visit the link in the video description below thanks for watching I hope this video is helpful see you in the next one bye